Greetings, Commanders. This is Kadger. Another alien site has been found. Actually, a few, but this one is active. Uh, you can get inside it, and you can activate a large alien star map inside. Needless to say, this uh, video contains spoilers. Big spoilers. I'm going to show you exactly what to get, what to take there, and how to activate the map for yourself, should you desire to do so. So stay tuned. First thing you need is an unknown artifact. The easiest place to get one of those that I know about is in HIP 17403 on planet A4A. Uh, at those latitudes, longitudes, I'll put it in the, uh, I'll put it, I'll put it in the description. But you go there. There's a crashed alien uh, ship there. Coming up on it here, uh, you just have to land and you will find unknown artifacts. There's two or three of them uh, strewn about in front of the ship on the ground. So let's head over there and grab one and I'll show you what I mean. There we go, there's one right there. You only need one, um, so just grab this one and uh, take it with you, put it in your ship. I should mention that uh, it's a very good idea to have a corrosion resistance cargo hold. You can get these from Professor Palin and put it in your ship. It'll only hold two tons, but that's all you need, and it will prevent uh, corrosive damage from happening to your modules. Otherwise you will take continuous corrosive damage and eventually you will have uh, malfunctions. And I picked up two here but you only need one so just grab one. You're going to need the other spot for the unknown probe which I will show you next. Getting an unknown probe is it's a pain. It takes a while. You have to find an ammonia world. Um, I'm using this one here and you have to cruise around it and around it and around it until you locate a unidentified signal source that is a degraded emissions threat 2 like that one and inside you will find an unknown probe. Note that this is only taking a few seconds on my video but I had to circle that planet for three and a half hours. Uh, I'll put the location of the planet also in the, the uh, in the comments below so uh, that's how you get one of those once you have both the artifact and the uh, unknown probe then you're ready to go to the system where the uh, site is I'll show you that next you want to head now to HIP 14909 planet 2A Latitude minus 26.5, longitude minus 27.5. That's where we're going, and that's where the new uh, active site has been located. So let's get down onto the planet so I can show you what's down there. And there it is. Uh, you can already tell from here that it's in better shape than the one that we saw previously. Uh, this one is considerably less eroded and destroyed. I'll go ahead and take a few moments to show you some pictures of it. Because it is cool looking. To me it looks very much like some sort of sea creature. Everything that they, uh, that they do it looks very organic to me.
There's a bug that sometimes causes the game to crash if you transfer the uh, items into your SRV directly. And that's what I was having happen. That's why I am dumping them out of my ship first. Uh, you may not have to do that, but I dumped them out of the ship first and then scooped them up in the SRV afterwards because otherwise the game would crash. Once you get inside, there are corridors in here with strange looking conduits of some kind of energy going through. The corridor goes all the way around. There is a uh, chamber in the center, which is where we will be headed. I don't know what these power things are, but they're interesting. So let's continue down the corridor, um, past the eggs on the ground. I think they're eggs. You can see the center chamber there. We'll go past it for now. Continue on. And there's a, another chamber off of, the, off of this corridor here on the right. Go down inside here. And we find these three devices. And uh, as you approach them, uh, some objects will come down from the ceiling and hang there. This is called an unknown link. And it is the third item we will need to uh, turn on the map when we get there. So we'll just remember where it is. We're going to come back and get it in a minute. We can only carry two things at once, so we'll have to go with what we have in our hold first. So we head back out into the corridor and then back and around to the right into the uh, main chamber. Here's the main chamber with the, uh, the large unknown device in the middle. You can see the, uh, the spinny glowy thingies and the little pads on the floor. Those are the secret. I did not figure out how to solve this. Uh, I got the information from Mad Raptor. Commander Mad Raptor uh, I believe was the first one to figure it out but he's the, he's the one that I found it out from anyway. So what we have to do is we have to get an unknown probe, an unknown artifact, and the unknown link and put them into these pads by driving our SRV up onto the green uh, section there with a light coming out of it and drop it down in there. So let's do that and I'll show you how that works. So you just get right up on here you can see the thing changes to the hologram of the item that you need there. It's kind of hard to tell what it is, but uh, it is a picture of it. So you then decide which one is it, <laughs> uh, and you drop it. You just jettison it right from your SRV. So I'm going to uh, <coughs> jettison the uh, little guy, and he'll go down. And then you'll see it gets sucked up. There he is. Alright, so that's the first one in there. Now we'll go.
go do the next one. There are three of these pads, of course, one for each item. There he goes, put it in there. Unknown artifact. All right, so we've got the probe and the artifact placed. Now we have to go back to that other room where the unknown link was and grab it. So let's run over there now and get that. You will have to shoot it a couple times to get it to fall. Otherwise you can't pick it up. I tried to pick it up without shooting it, but you can't. So shoot it down, pick it up, and then go back to the main room again. Place the unknown link in the last chamber. There it goes, and now you see the center lights up. It is now ready to be activated. All that's left is to target the unknown device and scan it. There you go. The alien star map comes to life. Now we just have to figure out what does it mean? Where does it point? What is it telling us? Man, it sure is beautiful. It's one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in a game. And I'm sure there's a message in here for us of some kind. We'll have to think about it and come up with it. Very exciting. I think it's very exciting. And there you go, Commanders. Get out there and activate this thing for yourself and have a look. See what you think. Join in the discussion. It's all very interesting. And thanks for watching.